this thing. Hello, it is me, Mr. Silent Hill. Hello, people. For some reason, we have this uh, Italian stallion. Italian stallion, yep. No, for some reason, can't even speak. All right. And I'm just here for funny. He's here for funny. Yes, I, I'm not. I'm totally not here just to be not funny. Are you watching his Silent Hill, by the way? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay, I would. I would screen share, but um, I guess I, mean, I, I could just go. To my my, my Twitch is there. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna, let's see. watch it there too. So right now, now I'm just going to. So I can to... watch both POVs. Um. So where do I need to go? I kind of I kind of don't remember what we. I know last time we fought the, uh, the flesh demon, or whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's called the flesh demon. Well, it's called Daddy, but that that's besides the point. I'm not. I'm not kidding. That's the boss's name. His name is Daddy. I am oh. not even going oh. to say anything. Oh, okay. This is definitely not sauce at all. <laughs> what the fuck is this room? Hmm. Now I'm going into this room. Uh, look at the plank. What the heck are these? <laughs> um, I'm just going to assume there's nothing in this room. That's a weird room. Hmm. Nope, this is the wrong way. I'm going backwards. Silent Hill 2 off to a great start already. It's very quiet no. in here. Well, it's meant to be quiet. Yeah. I know we're coming up on another boss soon. There's a rope. Will you pull it? Well, we are going to get one eventually. No, James, don't do it. Oh, okay. Did I have to pull all these ropes? Huh, weird, okay. One of these is probably gonna, like, drop me into a pit of acid or something. I don't know. That'd be pretty funny. Why don't you know? Are we just supposed to pull? Are we just supposed to pull all the ropes? Hmm. Okay, and last rope. All right, now it's time for me to leave this room. And that didn't do anything. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been looking forward to getting back into Silent Hill too, because um. This game is getting pretty good towards the end. Also, I noticed there's something on the wall here. As always. Let's see what this says. It says, Dead men, dead men, swing in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to the hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. The next one with a smile and sweets stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Breaking into a home at night, the thief, he had a nasty fright, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist with his daunting skill tried his paint hand at painting bills, but caught in rain, he was undone when the ink he'd use did start to run. With promise of great return, taking gold he did not earn. Bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses, nice reference, into ashes burned the, the sheriff on. with no place to turn. Did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swing in a tree. How many dead men did you see? Okay. I'm not going to remember all that. Notice, pull... Pull ye but once on a rope's frayed end. Go and return end. The error be mended. Beware, though the punishment sended. 
Let's see. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a cr criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Uh, well, that's a problem. I already pulled all of them. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die for doing that? Mm. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna die because I pulled all the ropes by accident. You can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I think you don't get the puzzle either. All right, so what is so what what can I do here? I got the key of the persecuted. Hmm. The paper that was covering the corpse's face is lying here. Well, that's weird. It's so quiet. It's really weird. Really disturbing. Well, isn't it? Well, isn't the silentness always disturbing? Well, I mean, I guess the silent and it's really putting the silent in Silent Hill, isn't it? All right. Uh, key left by prisoner who was wrongly executed. Well, I guess I used that on the handcuff. Huh. Okay. But there's another. Well, actually, I don't know if that other handcuff matters. Okay. Well, there is more of them. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll save after that then. Tink, tink. Alright, are there any are there any gingerbread men in here for me to fight? Hmm. That's locked. I th one thing I find really funny about the Silent Hill 2 remake is like the game doesn't tell you, like, oh, the door is locked. Instead, like, James will, like, try to break in, and then, like, he won't be able to, and he'll just, be, he'll just make, like, a grunt noise. He'll be like, huh. <laughs> he, he can't get in the door, and it's really funny. Okay, that alone is really funny. It's, it, like, it's a great way of telling you that, um, like, oh, it's locked, without telling you that it's locked, you know? Maria? Maria... No. What happened to you? Why? Why? I just need to run away. Oh, that classic Konami uh, blur effect. Dang. Blur. Okay, now let's see if it's the right one. Mary. It's a very unfortunate scene there. What is it? Oh, you'll see. I'm just being puzzled of of the freaking rope section. I just pulled all six of the ropes, went back into the room with the bodies, and I got a key. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't know if I solved the puzzle correctly, but I, it let me carry on, so I don't really care. Ooh, med kit. Thank you. Mm, you know what? I might as well. How many of those do I have? Five? Five med kits, three health drinks, two ampoules. Wait, actually, I think they're called. I think they're called ampoules. So in the remake, there is no ampoule. There's only health drinks and first aid kits. But the first aid kits actually fully heal you. Unlike in this game, where they only heal like half your health. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Oh boy, shotgun shells. It's preparing me for the boss, isn't it? How many saves are you allowed to have on a save file? 
I don't know. I don't think there's a limit. Catacomb. Shotgun shells. Okay, I can tell you, you really want me to use the shotgun. Another ampoule. What does that say? The name on the tombstone is too scratched up to be read. Oh, man. Yeah, I keep thinking I'm going to use the dark light. <laughs> like in Luigi's Mansion 2. What about Luigi's Mansion 2? Oh, man, the puzzles in that game are so much fun. <laughs> it's like playing Spot the Difference. Which, I don't know, there's something really enjoyable about that, but that's not enough about Luigi's Mansion 2. Let's talk about Silent Hill 2. <laughs> and, um... I'm really, I'm honestly really glad I'm playing the original because the remake is so like distinctly different that it, it kind of just feels like a new game almost. It's kind of almost an FF7 remake kind of case where it's basically just a brand new game. It just, you know, has some tones of the original, if you know what I mean. Well, that may sound right, but oh well. Man, there's a lot of fog in here. And it looks like I can't even escape through this room because I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. What are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. <laughs> that disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. Damn. <laughs> can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? He's nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. <laughs> Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. I love the cheesy voice delivery in this game. It's something else. Wasn't it always cheesy? Yeah. Alright, um... Well, the game gave me shotgun ammo, so let's let's use it. Oof. Man, he's hitting hard. At this point, I'm just gonna trade hits. No, 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 please don't. Can I take one more hit? I don't know, it's risky. Bump. Bump, bump. Fuck. Ah, he's hitting hard. Jesus. Okay, um... I guess I can reload the shotgun in the menu. Okay. That was, uh... Not too bad, actually. I only used a couple of bit of ammo. More shotgun shells. More, uh, rifle shells. See, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil nothing for you. <laughs> I'm just kind of taking the game in. The fuck is happening in here? Oh, you came back? Oh. Oh. 
I only came here just to play funny sounds. Oh, okay. Yes. My only reason to be here. Damn. I might as well just leave at this point. <laughs> You need help. Get help. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm almost dead, bro. <laughs> hang on, I got an amp pool. We'll be fine. Hang on, hang on. Uh, this is a great, probably a great place to use the rifle, I think. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, the rifle is the way to go. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, he does so much fucking damage. Jeez. I just keep using the rifle. You can't have me when I use the rifle. Use the rifle. Yeah, rifle is the way to go for this boss. Holy shit, that was easy. Eddie? I'm winning the gunfight, guys. Eddie? Congratulations. I, I killed a, a human being. Damn, poor James. A human being. Nah, he's the one with the trauma. Well, he, he's been through a lot of trauma already, but the, here's some more, unfortunately. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Oh, man, I can't wait to hear how this sounds in the remake. There it is, there it is. What's with the floating bodies? That's so weird. I don't even know what these are supposed to be. It just looks like meat. <laughs> I'm in the meat zone. <laughs> no, not James P. Sullivan. Different guy. I'm, and, and sadly, Mike Wazowski's not with me either. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hard to joke during a game like this because I I do wanna you know. I want to take the game seriously for what it is, but sometimes it's kind of hard to. Because I love the cheesy, like, delivery. See, that's the thing. As cheesy as the voice line delivery is, that's kind of what makes Silent Hill Silent Hill. Without it, you just have, like, a very serious psychological horror game. But I is feel like, like, but I feel like the, the the witty voice delivery is kind of what gives Silent Hill its identity because it it also feels out of place, just like Silent Hill. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I don't really need a health drink. All right, so I have how many rifle shells do I have actually? I never checked. Twelve. Okay. Oh, I got lots of shotgun shells. I think I've saved up enough of those. I could probably start using them on the enemies. I'm really stingy with my frickin' bullets. Hmm. Honestly, I, I kind of wonder what would have happened if I tried using the great knife on that boss. I don't that, know. That won't help at all. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's like, he pulls out the weapon too fast, so, yeah. Alright. Well, here's a boat. I know the last dungeon of the game is, like, a hotel. But I don't know anything about it yet. <laughs> hmm. This game predates Resident Evil 5 by a few years, I think, so... Did I get, it? I, I think... So, I mean, there's a boat scene in that game, too. 
Wait, did I say did I say Resident Evil four or five? You said five. Oops, I meant four. <laughs> and I don't have a map of this place, do I? Oh wait, no, I do. I'm in the Toluca Lake. Where am I though? Oh no. Um. I'll just um. I'll just you know go forward. I don't know what button I'm supposed to be pressing here. If I'm supposed to be pressing any buttons. I guess sentimental is a good way to describe Silent Hill. Well, rowing, rowing the boat in the, uh, rowing the boat in the water. Honestly, I can't tell if I'm making progress or not. It's really hard to tell. Just literally describe Silent Hill perfectly. Why sentimental? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds. I like... think it was intended to be like that. Okay, I assume I'm going forward because you know, he's rolling the boat. Well, let's just keep going forward. Why are you take why are you taking my copy rice? <laughs> copy rice? <laughs> yes. I didn't copy any rice, bro. Yeah, you did. You copied the rice. Yes, you did. <laughs> nah, man. I, okay, man. I'll just take the brown rice. Okay. <laughs> 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 At this point, this might as well be a Sethical episode. Everything's a Sethical episode now. It might as well. <laughs> Where am I right now? Alright, so right now, after I... After I unlock the key, I have to go to the sewers, because why not? Alright, Toluca Lake. Let's see, um... Oh, there it is. Let's see. Um, on beginner, on beginner easy or normal action, the left analog stick or the D-pad will control the boat. Hold up to go forward and left to right to steer. Note that left and right will perform large turns. Okay. Wow, they change they change the boat controls depending on the difficulty. That's really silly. <laughs> well, what did you expect? I mean, do you expect it to be straightforward or something? I don't know. I, I'm not sure what not I was expecting, every, honestly. Not everything has to be straightforward, you know. Like, <laughs> it's this is this is how the game works. I would think. Hmm. Wait, wait, hang on, I found something. Nice, I found more shotgun shells. Oh my god, the, these boat controls are ass, dude. <laughs> well, you better get used to them. Yep, I'm gonna be steering oh. here for a while. Where the fuck am I, bro? Because so far, I have been complaining a lot. Well, you shouldn't. Because ah. you're... Yeah, I like complaining, though. Hmm. Because for me, I got a plan. I saw something, and I can't find it now. Oh, yeah, 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 hang on, hang on, go back, go back. Oh, an ampoule. Those are always nice to have. Welcome back to James rowing a boat for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's probably all it's gonna be. Hmm. 
Come on, you're a fan of boats. I never said that, bro. What? Yes, you did. <laughs> you told me. I think I'm on literally the opposite side of the map. If you want a fun boat, try... Try finding one from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory boat. Yep. Literally the pink boat that, from what I've heard, is supposed to be made out of... Uh, rock candy. Mmm, yummy. Wait, I, I found the light. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Thank God there's something to guide me. Well, that's what the guide says. It just says follow the light. Well, do you need guidance? Well, the way I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be sat here rowing a fucking boat for twenty minutes and not know where I'm where I'm going. <laughs> that'd be that'd be the worst feeling. <laughs> Trust me, I know how worst feelings are. This is uh, this is secretly one of those uh, Final Fantasy VII remake loading screens where you have to squeeze through a tight space so that the next area can load in. <laughs> The whole world, the rest of the, the whole rest of the game's loading in right now. That's why I'm riding on a boat. <laughs> well, I don't know what makes me wish. It just makes me wish that the person who was making Final Fantasy VII remake already completed it like four years ago. Like, who thought that this would be a good idea to make it three separate games to pay full price? Um, cause Squeenix is greedy. Oh, for sure. Okay, so Toluca Lake's not actually very long. And that's like an entire area on the frickin' guide, so... All that's left now... ...is, um, the hotel. And then we're done the game. So, we're actually- yeah, we, we can definitely finish this tonight, then. I didn't actually realize there was sure? this little of the game left. Like, I was thinking there'd be way more of, um, like, that crypt that we were in, and more of the lake. The lake was not very long at all. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, some of the, um... Some of the music in this game is actually used in the remake. You sure? Yeah, some of it, not all of it. But like the I mean, some of the boss fight music just, is reused. Most of them are just brand new songs, to be honest. Yeah, which I think I think is pretty fitting. The new the new stuff sounds pretty good, and some of the old stuff they did keep. If not, I mean, obviously they didn't keep everything, which is unfortunate, but. They did keep some of the boss music. They kept, um, like, some of the, like, more atmospheric music. And I think they remixed some of the, uh, like, sad songs. You know, it's worse that we're not gonna get, a uh, uh, Snake Eater this year. Nope, no Snake Beater. I'll have to wait on that one. <laughs> yeah, just wait until, like, uh, 2025 or something. Yeah. Not sure if I'll get to play it on launch day. Depends if I can afford it or not. Oh, I could afford it. And I could also afford another one as a gift. Hmm. Because trust me, I always plan for these things. On Xbox, though, I'm not sure. <laughs> what about Steam? thing is, I don't know if my computer can run it. <laughs> it's a pretty demanding game. It's not that demanding. Oh boy, there's a lot of floors. Why is it showing the third floor? Waiting for you, 312. Room 312, that's the room Mary and I stayed in. I got a map of the hotel. Nice. I guess I can take my time.
since you're behind. Both in one shot? Really? Wait, you got one shot? <laughs> no. I just one shotted the the fat guy. Oh. Did you use the rifle? Yes. Yeah, he, he kinda pisses off if you do that. Uh oh. Alright, let me let me let me become pyramid head real quick. Damn. Man, I'm so good at this game. Why why play the game when you can just uh, be pyramid head? Oh fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yikes, I'm kind of dying over here. And I ran out of health drinks. Okay. Well, I mean, it stopped, so that's good. Um, so sadly now I'm down to three medkits and two ampoules, which is not great, but whatever, I'll take it. Lock is broken, lock is broken, oh my god. So many locked doors, bro. So where am I right now? Oh, I'm on, I'm on 110. I'm on the first floor. Okay. This is actually a pretty fun-looking, um, final dungeon so far. I wasn't, like, super, super big on the, um, the final dungeon in Silent Hill 1. I mean, it's alright. But this looks a little bit more, like, fun to do. A laundry cart. Oh, it's just, there's just a crap ton of bullets in here. Guess I should be using my handgun bullets now, huh? So you're telling me that everything that you complain about Silent Hill 2, you're already loving the final dungeon? Yeah. Seems pretty fun so far. I mean, I haven't played much of it, but... I don't know, just... A haunted hotel is a really cool idea for a final dungeon. Yeah, it's like Mario Sunshine, you know? How there's a haunted hotel in that game. Maybe that's why I like this already. Hmm. So, looks like I can't go in any of these yet. Is there a save somewhere nearby? Oh, I can't go in here. And I won. I won. Well, to be fair, you are playing on easy. I am. Piano jump scare, damn. <laughs> did I scare you? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you scared me too. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. <laughs> I wish I knew. What could be funny? In her letter. What letter? James doesn't know where Mary is. <laughs> read it? He really doesn't. But don't tell Rachel, okay? He's supposed to know his wife. Who's Rachel? So how could he not? She's our nurse. I took it from her locker. See, my dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give it to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Okay, so right now I am outside where everything is has a lot of fog. You're on the boat, aren't you? Well, from the look of it, uh, right now I'm just going on a plank. It's true, he may be a little surly sometimes, but he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. Okay, there's a plank, and, uh, yep, there's a boat. Yeah, the boat is a bit annoying, but if you can find, um, actually, well, it should be pretty obvious somewhere you need to go, you'll know. <laughs> Happy 8th birthday, Laura. 
Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? I can't believe we are go going this far. But uh, mm -hmm. I shouldn't be surprised since this game is really short. So, yeah. Mary couldn't have died three years ago. But it's honestly really nice Could to play a short she game. Be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Hmm. I might as well save state in this Mary section. Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her Just pictures. Just so, so I don't get she lost. Really wanted to come back. They'll find That's the light. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura, but I will admit that this I gotta find it. that this is really creepy. Laura. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> there's a piano here. Yeah, there's definitely a piano here. Thanks for telling mm. me, James. <laughs> Can I uh, do anything from behind the piano? No. Kitty cat. So there's like a diner or something. I got the fish key. Oh, I'm very glad I checked that. I would have, I could have missed that key if I didn't look. Let me just uh, double check and make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I see the beacon of light. Yeah, you just gotta follow that. Hmm. Follow the beacon of light. What the fuck's that thing? Hey, Jacob. What? I remember yesterday of what I sent you? Uh, what did you send me? The flan. The flan? Oh yeah, the flan's dancing. Yep. Oh boy, here comes another one. I can imagine that you were laughing at it. I like the flan dancing. Oh, they're off me. <laughs> the flan. The f yes, the flan. The flan. The flan. That's her real name. Her name. Her name is the Flan. The Flan. Ned Flanders. Honestly, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, well, it was too easy. Too easy. <laughs> too easy. Piece of cake. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here, is being kept in the office on the first floor. Okay. Only one more month away. One more month away, and I will have my opportunity to get a FUMO. FUMO. Yep. It's happening. Oh, I've made it. Is this the office that they're talking about? Yep. So, after that, I'd be happy. Not only will I, will I get a FUMO, but I'm also planning to get Ethernet. Wow, that's two good things at the same time. Yeah, so I might as well. Hmm. It kind of looks like it goes so somewhere. I'm, so I'm not going to miss that opportunity. But you see, the reason why I'm kind of hesitant to get an Ethernet is because I have two problems. Hmm, what? I have doggos. What, are you worried about the doggos tripping on it or something? Either that, or possibly get electrocuted. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> yeah, that would be... that would be horrible. Yeah, even... Not only will I be upset about it, but so are my family. Yeah, that'd be bad. It would. So that's why I am going to think of something that's going to be cautious. So I might as well, uh... So I might as well take it on the wall or something. Well, there's multiple doors here. Wait, no, that's just the way I came from. So I finally made... So I finally made it to the hotel. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting final dungeon. And this time there's no, like... 
This time there's no nonsense of like uh, having to get a like a best ending or a bad ending. There's no such thing as the best ending. It basically every ending that you make in this game, like it depends on what you choose. Yeah. Like basically, like basically you are free free to choose. Like it, like no and like no ending is happy in this game. Like it's all all endings are just bitter and depressing. Yeah. So you get a you get a different experience basically. Yeah, you get a different experience of emotions. I'm curious to see what uh, ending I'll get. I'll probably get, like, the basic ending, like, um, where was it was called. I think it's called, like, uh... Oh, shit. Why am I blanking? What's the ending's called? I'm just getting the leave ending. Yeah, the leave ending. That's the one I'm, I'm expecting to get. Okay. But there well. are different end But there is an ending that's similar to it, and it's called the water ending. Is that the one where he drowns himself? Yeah, I think so. Like, I know about- I know, like, the context of some of the endings, but I don't know what they mean yet. But there are- but there is one joke ending that I do remember. The dog ending? <laughs> How did you know about the dog ending? I don't know, it's just- that's just kind of one of those things that I heard about this game, the freaking dog ending. Honestly, the dog ending is actually funny. <laughs> and then the end credit is just the dog barking in the most... Well, it's a, mel it's a melody bark. Basically, Toby Fox before Toby Fox. <laughs> Pretty much. I remember, I know, I know James says like something like, so you were behind it. Waiting for you. What's this? Yeah, there's there's okay, hands. So. Bro, Halloween was like a few weeks ago. Why are you handing out shells now? People yeah. don't even give a shit about Halloween anymore. I had all my Halloween candy. I'm I'm happy. <laughs> the only thing that I'm happy for is my sprite. Sprite. Yep. Specifically, Sprite Cranberry. <laughs> oh shit, you became LeBron. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Watch Sprite Cranberry. I'm surprised you even know about the commercial. I was honestly about to, t to tell you that I was getting a few packs of Sprite Cranberry. I, I could tell my story about Sprite Cranberry. You might as well. <laughs> I found, I found, um, I went to the corner store, uh, a few years ago, back when I was in BC, and, um, I remember seeing, like, the fucking stupid ass, like, LeBron wash white cranberry, like, meme, and I was like, mm -hmm. man, if only I could try Sprite Cranberry, and then randomly, I go to the corner store one day, and they fucking have a bottle of Sprite Cranberry there, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, now I'm gonna be LeBron, and so I bought one and took it home. You were excited as ju yeah, I was just as me. I was excited over fucking Sprite Cranberry, <laughs> and I've never seen it before or since then. <laughs> the first time I tried it, like, I experienced a lot of spice eh, in it. It's just, it's whatever. It's nothing to me. It's nothing special, really. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, hey, I am dedicated. All right, let's shoot him. At this point, I am just dedicated to everything. Might as well be the type of person to influence. Dang, bro. <laughs> what? My handgun's not working. Okay, there we go. Freaking weird ass, uh... Oh shit, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying over here. Okay. I was already dying. Camera's not working. Camera, please work. Oh my god, it's happening again. Alright. 
Yeah, I don't think the handgun's gonna cut it at this point in the game. So basically the handgun is just useless? Honestly, yeah. The handgun is not very helpful because these guys take way too many hits. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep using the plank. No, do not use the plank in this dungeon. It, you'll die. I'm definitely gonna risk it. Either that or you could use the sword. <laughs> or the knife, whatever you want to call it. Maybe. Surprised I didn't do that. A lock. Okay, well next time I see those guys, I'm gonna try using the um I'm gonna try using the sword. Okay, well hang on. That one that one just says it's locked. There's a difference between something being locked and the thing not working. I can't use that. Key with fish-shaped key holder. It was on top of the restaurant table. Okay. Well, I'm on floor. I'm on the second floor. I don't think the key does anything there. It's locked. Well, yeah, some of them have locked. Some of the doors are locked, and some of them have broken locks. Which are different. Okay, so yeah, you can go in there. But I just can't right now. Cloak room and reading room. I went in there already. I'll be right back. All right. I think I went in those rooms. Yeah, I did. There, there's nothing in here, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so that was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> I suppose. Oops, wrong door. I'm gonna go um back in here. I know I'm supposed to be going to the room with Mary in it, but I want to go back and uh, save real quick. This is like my safe room, dude. <laughs> this is the only place that's safe right now. And also, I'm really gonna need some healing now because like, look, bro, I only have one ampoule and four mid kits. That's really bad. <laughs> Can I go in this door? I can't leave the hotel, okay. So let's try going, um... For the record, I already looked out- I look, I already tested out everything on the first floor, right? Whoops. Hang on. Let me go back down to the first floor and check. Um... Lobby... Oh, hang on a second. Let me try something. Where does this door take me, then? <laughs> Washed by cranberry? Where am I now? Oh, okay, no. No, I'm stupid. This just takes me here. So, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing else here. There's no way to get to the left side of the first floor yet. So, we're just we're just going to go to the other side of the second floor. I mean, it doesn't seem too bad so far. I mean, unless there's a fourth floor, which, you know, usually the Silent Hill dungeons typically only have like three floors and maybe a basement. Oh, yes, I am so happy. <laughs> mm. I am I am back better than ever. <laughs> what, did you get Reese's Puffs or something? That's a close second. What else is there? <laughs> I got myself a... I got Snickers. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm also happy about. Snickles. And I'm also happy of what I'm just seeing right now on the group DM. Ah, let me, let me check. <laughs> Might as well. 
damn, okay. <laughs> that is also what I'm happy about. There you go. Um, there's an anter room. I don't know how to get in there. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. This isn't looking too good for James Thunderland over here. This door is open now. Never mind. I don't think any. I don't think I can go in any of these doors right now. I think all of this shit's blocked off. Oh crap. Um, there is the hall. I don't think I've been in the hall yet. It's pretty quiet in this hotel. I was expecting it to be scarier, but no, it's just you're just kind of going to places. Nope, that's locked. Well, actually, I think this is just the first part of the final dungeon. I think it gets scarier later. Since when do you care about being scared? Hey, man, nothing wrong with getting scared. I know. What? Bro, I can't fucking go up here? Maybe it's just the feeling that you really do want to be scared. It's the urge that counts. I mean, it wouldn't be exciting if I didn't. <laughs> Well, I can't even get to the third floor, so... Mm. Shit. Might as well put this on the floor. Hmm. Because I really don't want to get my keyboard ruined. Ruined. Yeah, I just, I just don't want any drinks to be... to be on... near the keyboard, because I'm afraid that it will just spill. Well, I probably gotta use the fish key somewhere. Um, now I guess I gotta figure out like which one of these doors has a fish on it. Hmm. Well, definitely not here. Yeah, you know what? Let me try going back. Let me try going back there. I can afford to... I can afford to fuck around a little bit and experiment. Can I use the fish on this one? Shit! Nope. Where's oh, I am so dead. How the fuck do you use the fish key? Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, that's the door I tried to use it on. Okay. Right, it says private on it. Okay, um, I mean, I tried those, I tried that room, there's no rooms there that I can do, maybe I gotta go with to somewhere on the first floor, I don't know. I basically just gotta try out the rooms that have, like, actual locks, which is, uh, oh. none of these. Oh my god. What? <laughs> you sent a gif of Wario's ass. <laughs> I sure did. You wanna know what's the one thing that I also find funny about the freaking Mario Party... Mario Party Bowser from the N64 games? What? <laughs> you wanna know exactly what happened with Bowser in one of the games? Why are you talking about sexy Bowser? No I'm, no, I'm talking about the one moment where Bowser literally flies away because Daisy just slaps Bowser <laughs> so hard. Oh, I need to, I need to see that again. 
I'll have a link to it down on um, the DM. Wario asks, what if I just type up Bowser flies away? Um, I did find this, though. <laughs> What'd you find? Yeah, I mean, I can put it up on the stream. <laughs> I'm just face palming right now. I somehow found that first before I found Bowser flying away. I'm just going to post this anyways. Daisy smacks Bowser 1440p. Yeah, here we go. Let me show this off. <laughs> Where's the part where Bowser shows up? Uh, try to go, like, in the 40s. <laughs> oh, I play that again. <laughs> Is that it? That's just, that's just Bowser, he flies off? Yes. Oh, that's great. He flew off so fucking fast. He <laughs> did. That's how. That is why ba Bowser doesn't want to capture Daisy. <laughs> not after what just happened. <laughs> yeah, definitely not now. Right, where's the knife? All right, come here. Shit. <laughs> Okay. God damn it, I'm almost dead again. Fuck. <laughs> How does this keep happening to you? I keep getting my I keep getting my ass kicked. You sure? Yep, I'm sure. <laughs> I uh I I'm really trying to get some use out of the great knife. <laughs> it's not going very well for me. Well don't use the great knife. But it's fun. It makes you feel like Pyramid Head. I know it's fun, but... <sighs> you can't rely it all the time, you know? Hey, man, I'm pre I'm getting pretty good at using it. Even though I keep getting I hit. know, but I'm, just, but I'm just giving you some advice to not use it that often. You have to change your strategy sometimes. I'll use the shotgun. The shotgun is honestly going to be the goat in this dungeon. Especially because I have, what, like... How many, how many shells do I have? 97? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Can't use that. Where the fuck do you use the fish key? Wait, what's that on the ground? I got a can of thinner. Weird. Can well, I use the elevator? I'll just be finding more. I'll just find out where to use the fish key. Well, if you do, let me know. I will. Unless I find out first, which might happen. It's likely. What, is, what do you use for thinner? Uh, small can filled with thinner. What the fuck does thinner do again? I, I forgot what that means. <laughs> Hold on. What is thinner used for? Oh. Paint thinner. Okay, okay now I found out what... What the fish key is used for. Yeah, what floor is it you use it on? I just have to open a briefcase. Wait, a briefcase? Where the fuck's that at? Uh basically if you have to find the briefcase, just try to find just just go into the second floor. It should be one of the doors. Okay. I'll look on the second floor. I mm -hmm. didn't I, I did have to go into the basement though, and I found some thinner. <laughs> Just try to find the briefcase. Gotcha. There's nothing useful here. Okay. Not sure how I, had, how I didn't come across uh, a briefcase already, but... It's weird, because I swear I checked the second floor already. Well, it is on one of the doors, and... Oh, the door, maybe. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, I'm, maybe I just missed it somehow. Why would, I, why would I think to use a fucking fish key on a briefcase, though? <laughs> uh, 
Well, if you if you use the fish key for the briefcase, you might find you might find a key inside of it. And that key's probably used for one of these other doors. Yeah, it's probably used for one of the doors. Okay. See, even I can help. Let's try this room. All right. Now let's go into this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I just completely missed this somehow. You, you somehow missed the briefcase. I somehow missed the briefcase, yep. Okay, well, that explains a lot. And the fish key has the key to hotel oh. room 204. Well, I'm sure you'll catch up. Well, did you get the pan of the pan of thinner or the, the pan the can of thinner already? I think so. Two oh four. Hmm. Oh, that door. Okay. Yeah, I know where that is. Just reminds me of those fucking videos of people playing dinner, dinner for ten minutes. I wonder what's for dinner. If I ever wanted to make a one or ten hour video, I would just, I would just, well, you know, just let Flandre dance. Let and that's let, it. Let the Flan dance. For, yeah, uh, just let the Flan minutes. dance. That would be, that would be a ridiculous and stupid idea. <laughs> All right, so what's this one? We got the employee, the employee elevator key. Elevator key. Oh, look at this. Duma. Um. Just, uh, just let me just try something real quick. Oh. Mark. Wait, ha let me try Mark. Are you ever thinking of getting Sonic X Shadow Generations? Maybe someday. Because it is meant to be the definitive version of that game. And there's extra... There's actually a ton of awesome bosses that weren't even featured in the original Sonic Generations. I actually haven't seen them yet, so that's nice. You want to know who's in there? Um, I probably already know, but you can tell me anyway. There's the Metal Overlord. Yep. The Bile Lizard. Yeah, we're gonna, look at, we're gonna look at that picture again. Yeah, all the all the Shadow Generation bosses are really cool. Yep. And even Mephilus returns. Which is a huge surprise, to be honest. Yeah, it really is it really is Sonic Generations too. <laughs> even Black Doom appears yeah, that as goes. a main. Literally, I feel like Black Doom is like the Eggman to Shadow. Honestly, it makes you want to play Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, you better. Did you well, see? You did, you, did you see Gnarly's video on it? I did. Fuck, I love that. Well, you might as well find a version of Shadow the Hedgehog that's patched. Well, to to at least have better controls. Oh, yeah. I, it, in some ways, these days, depending on how I feel, I actually prefer playing games like the way they were intended to be played. I don't really. Sometimes I don't want to patch the game. Other times I do. It depends how I'm feeling. Well, I mean, honestly, to me, patches are necessary to me if I want to get a better experience. Yeah. But sometimes um, it's best to experience things, you know, the way they were intended. I have various times, however. But there are some cases that didn't work out for me. Oh, well. The funny thing is that over the years, people are open, are open up to the game. Like, I'm not joking, people are actually opened up to Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, I, I'm kind of more interested in it now after Nerly's video. 
the the backstory is that Yarly actually did did have fun with uh, with the game because he used to play it when he was a kid. Yeah, and that's kind of making me see the game in a different way. I'm thinking like, yeah, you know what? I think I should give Shadow the Hedgehog a try. It's it's really funny just how opinions work sometimes. Like a lot of people, you know, the general opinion will be like, oh, this game's fucking dog shit, dude. And then you'll have like that one person who'll be like, you know, no, this game, I like this game. This game's pretty cool. You know, this is this is <laughs> literally like a similar situation where back then the GameCube really sucks, but right now people are really opened up to it because of how amazing the system is. Uh, the GameCube was my first console, so naturally I'm kind of biased towards it. <laughs> I know, but people did hate the GameCube when it first released. Yeah, I don't really understand that, honestly. <laughs> I yep. Then again, I wasn't there to you know hear people's negative opinions. But thankfully, over the years, people are loving the system way too much. Yeah, I'm loving it. Everybody does. Honestly, I would honestly say that it's all thanks to the Wii that made it really good. Especially the backwards compatibility. Hmm. Okay, well, clearly I'm supposed to be down here if they're if those mannequins are in here. Camera doesn't want to work with me here. Alright. It doesn't want to collaborate. Approach me. Okay. Music calm down. Um is this do I need to use the key here? Hmm. It just says employee elevator. Well, I, I'm near the elevator. Hey, Jacob, you want to know what I did last night? What? I actually figured out how to uh, get the GameCube uh, uh, menu working. Oh, you're playing the GameCube menu in Dolphin? Yeah. Ooh. I actually figured out how it works, and it was actually a really easy process. Honestly, I never really bothered thinking about um, using the uh, GameCube menu on Dolphin. Like, I even got the GameCube opening working. Hmm. Yeah, I, got, yeah, I actually got it working. <laughs> you found out where to use the elevator key yet? <laughs> Not yet, but I will, eventually. Well, from what it looks like, there's nothing uh, I can do with this yet. Can I go to the se I can go to the second floor again. Can I switch maps again? I don't remember. Well, that's not it. That's not how you switch maps. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, there we go. Um, that could be the that, that could be the place I need to go. That's the only place I could think of using the elevator key. Is on the second floor. Yeah. Get away from me. This is what happens when you try to mess with me. I might, well, looks I, like I, I might try that. It looks like I found where the elevator key is. It's on the second floor like I thought. It would seem that way, yes. Mm, is it on the right side or the left side of the hotel? Mm, from what I can tell... It's likely that it's on the right side. I think it might actually be that room I was about to head to. I was gonna try that door again, anyway. 
Well, what's, what's this room all about? What's wrong? I keep pressing the wrong thing. There we go. I got it. Oh, no, that's a that's a that's an impassable door. Okay, I found the employee elevator key. Yeah. There we go. I found it. Wait, that's the wrong that's the wrong door. Hold on. Let me try uh let me try this one. There we go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was the one. Don't know why I didn't think to try that door. Oh, save too. Hmm. I might as well use the thinner. Oh, there's two health drinks here. Okay, I've I've used the thinner right now. Hmm. Okay, I'll uh I'll keep an eye out for when to use that. Oh. The oh, wait empty. a minute! I actually found the combination of what the thinners. I actually found a combination of the photo. What the shit? Yeah, if I use the thinner, it actually shows the combination of the briefcase. Oh. Wait allowance, one person. What do you mean? Alright. Hmm. Put an item on the shelf. Mm. Is that what I'm so that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I can store stuff on the shelf? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, second floor, mid-east corridor. Wait a minute. This is, not, this is not a... This is not a number combination. This is a letter combination. Yeah, um... Let's see. The employee elevator key. As you can see, the locked briefcase requires a four-letter combination. The combination's random each time, but it always makes up an actual word. Uh, Jacob? What? You want to hear something stupid? No, what? You want to know what my combination is? What? It says lose. Lose? <laughs> I'm not That's joking. Great. I actually got the combination. My combination says lose. That's funny. Let's see. What you'll need to do is spell the matching four-letter word that unlocks the briefcase. Examine the suspicious photos all over the bed, and James will find one specifically of the briefcase's dial. But the combination's crossed out with ink. If you check your inventory, you'll find a useful... Oh, use the thinner on the photograph. Oh... I was wondering where you used the thinner. Okay, I need to go back there. I forgot where that picture is. What room did I check for that? The reading room? No, it's unlocked. The funny thing is that right now, right now, the reason why people are playing the game Shadow of the Hedgehog is because people are excited to watch the third Sonic movie. No, well, you know what? That's actually a pretty uh, valid reason. <laughs> it is. Uh, wrong right, wrong place. It's one of these rooms. It, was this the place that had it? Um, wait, have I even been in here? There's a book. I've already read enough medical books. <laughs> None of them ever did anything good. Other than just save lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I forgot where the fucking room with the picture was. Well, if uh, you do find the pictures, it's on the bed. I know, I know it's on the bed, but I forgot what room that was in. Fuck. It's in the lounge. No, this is not the right room. God damn it. Now I forgot which room it was in. Fuck. Is it really that ahead? Yeah. But I'm, I'm not worried about it. I just gotta figure out where that room is again. I think it, maybe it's on the first floor? 
Wait, no, 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 no. It's in, it's in, um, room 209. Right, right, right. Okay, now I'm using the elevator for the key. Now you're playing with power. Honestly, hmm. it didn't even cross my mind that you have to use the thinner there. Doesn't Nintendo always play with power? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Considering how shitty the Switch is. You want to hear something stupid? What? There's going to be a Nintendo Direct that's unrelated to games. Honestly, I could care less. <laughs> I don't care about the freaking Nintendo World thing. Good, you shouldn't. Oh, hey, you wanna you wanna guess what my combination was? What? Oh, I missed. It. Oh, what the? Okay, that actually startled me. Oh boy, good. To, thanks for the jump scare warning. <laughs> okay, I I actually got startled by an alarm. Oh, no, I, I came across that already. Cinderella music box. Okay, now... If I'm not mistaken, I believe um, you have to, like, unload a bunch of your shit on that shelf, and then it'll probably let you on the elevator, because James is too damn heavy with all the crap he's carrying. I think that's how that works, but I don't know. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I should I should play some freaking music or something because it's so damn quiet in this hotel. But that would ruin the atmosphere, so I won't. Um, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can put that music box away. Okay, that. Okay, that was really annoying. Down inside room two hundred two. I'm gonna use it here. I put down the Cinderella music box. We'll see how it sounds now. Okay. Now, before I get started, I might as well... It looks like there's three spots to put music boxes. So we're gonna need to get uh, two more music boxes. I guess I'm gonna put my stuff <laughs> It's Silent Hill, of course it's Silent. Shut up! <laughs> Let me let me enjoy my silence. <laughs> Oops, wrong room. This is not where the elevator key is. So do you just do you dead ass just have to unload everything? Yeah. I Man, I guess I can try that. I can, I, can, I can fucking hear the noises. Boom, boom. Let me just double, honestly, let me just double check that that's actually what you're supposed to do. Honestly, that should be used as a remix. The Silent Hill remix. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Let's see. Um, let's see. Back inside the room, you'll find a large shelf. After reading the weight allowance rule, examine the shelf, and James will comment that he could store his stuff. Consider healing up before dumping your items. When prompted, select like yes to put your items on the shelf. You must empty your inventory one by one. Okay. Two exceptions to this are the letter from Mary and the photo of Mary, which you can you can carry. Hmm. Wow. You can't even use You can't even use a thin paper to take you? No, you can. You can take it. <laughs> You're allowed to take the letter and the photo of Mary. Um, you might want to examine the letter from Mary if you haven't. I, you know what? I should do that. Thanks for telling me. Laura's letter. Um, examine. You know, the funny thing is I put everything in the freaking locker. Examine. Huh. There's nothing written. That's weird. Okay, well, time to dump my inventory. Alright. Yeah, um... 
Wait, am I allowed to keep the key? Probably not, right? I don't think I can. Let me just double check that I can do that. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be light on, uh, items for a while, but that's just how things go sometimes. To be fair, with all this crap that James is carrying, he probably is, he probably does weigh, like, three people. Wait, I have to put the flashlight and the radio there, too? Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, let's see. Alright. Well, well, it looks like it works, well, though. Well, it looks like things are going to be really tough for you without these equipments. Yeah, okay. So it says, um, go to floor one. To be fair, I was curious on checking out what was on floor one. Okay, without the flashlight, this makes it even more creepy. <laughs> Holy shit, new Super Mario Bros. We repainted? <laughs> That's a cool Vinny stream. I'm gonna be honest with you, I honestly am... I'm honestly starting to believe that new Super Mario Bros. Wii is very overrated. Well, there's a difference between finding it overrated and not liking it. I know, but I'm just... Now look, I, I, I'm I, just saying that it is really overrated since the people... Well, I mean, people say it's probably the best out of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Well, it's the best multiplayer New Super Mario Bros. The best one, in my opinion, is probably the DS one. Okay, well, how the fuck am I supposed to pass this guy without a weapon? Okay, that one I can agree on, Jacob. Yeah. Because <laughs> literally, with New Super Mario Bros. DS, literally, I feel like the cons... Literally, I feel like the free... The entire game play feels well, you know, like it, like it feel, it feels like DS had brand new ideas at the time. It was the first new 2D game since Mario Land 2, so yeah. <laughs> Silent Hill. There's a videotape called Silent Hill. <laughs> There's a can opener. Oh man, what are we gonna be eating? Some soup. Silent. You know what? We're gonna call it Silent Soup. Nothing useful. You can tell it's called- you can tell it's Silent Soup because it doesn't make any noises when it bubbles up. Are you thinking about having soup? Nah, too messy. I used to be- I used to like eating soup all the time because, uh, you know, all my carpets were- or not all my carpets, all my floors were made of wood. So if I spilt any soup, it wouldn't be that bad. But now that all my, like, floors are carpet, um... I'm a bit more hesitant to eat soup because I don't. I want to, you know. I want to. I worry about, you know, spilling soup on my carpet, and then I'm gonna be sad. My floor is literally made of wood. There, there's a. Uh, there's benefits to both. I find carpets more comfy. But wood carp or wood uh wood floors, you know, you can clean them easier. <laughs> They are easier to clean because... I'm like a frickin' carpet where you have to vacuum it and put use like soap and shit. Oh wow, I got rifle shells. Only problem is, I don't have a rifle. Um, too dark to read the map. Oh great, I can't even look at the frickin' map. Because I don't have so a the map is basically useless. The map's useless now. Yay. It's all I'll be fine. The lock is broken. You just need to get silent cake just to hope just to hopefully say that it isn't soggy cake. <laughs> silent cake. Silent cake. And that was even more horrible. Uh, well, there's a very sus red door right here. Whenever there's a red door, you know it's bad news. Wait, hang on. Can I read that again? Oh, the Snow White music box. There are apples and pumpkins here. Aw, pumpkin. 
There are potatoes and onions here. Oh, wow. Soup cans. Oh, shit, we found the silent soup. I I'm not hungry. Wait, soup? Wait, can I use the can opener there? Fuck. Why are you following me? I wanted to eat the silent soup, dude. Man. Juice cans. There are tea bags and cookies here. Man, this is like the most like cozy room in all of Silent Hill so far. It's just the soup, just the fucking soup room. Smells vaguely moldy. Okay, never mind. I don't want moldy soup. Nobody wants moldy soup. I didn't even know moldy soup could exist. Okay, well I found the second music box, so that's nice. You need to get silent cake. <laughs> Soggy cake. I mean, Wario's got a pretty silent cake. Never mind. That's that's the complete opposite of what I should be saying. Lock is broken. That lock's also broken. Hmm. Sorry. What's this? Oh, I got a hotel map for employees. Oh, and I can actually use this. So is the joke here that, um, is the joke here that, uh, what you call it? Um, well, that was rude. I got the, uh, fuck, what do you call it? I don't remember. You just hit me. <laughs> okay, so this goes, um, downstairs. It's too dark to read the, oh, now, now it's too dark to read the map again? Okay, I'm gonna make a save state because I don't know if I can make it past this guy, but I'm gonna try anyway. Because I don't have any weapons right now, so I can't do anything. Videotape I forgot at the hotel three years ago. We're gonna have to try and get past this bastard. Oh. Bro, he was right out, he was sitting right outside the freaking door. What an asshole. Looks like the lock is broken. Looks like I found the bar key. The bar key? Yeah, the bar key is next. Oh, first aid kit. I definitely, yeah, I just I definitely found, need that. I found the bar key in the engine room. Oh yeah, same. Can I use the can opener in this room? Nope. Can you? I guess not. Well, that was just rude. <laughs> uh, the lock is broken. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I walk around. No, no. I, I walk around the corner. I push the no button, nothing time. happens. Hey, get away from me, buddy. Well, the good news is that I found some health drinks. The lock is broken. Empty wine bottles. Okay, I can go in here. Oh, I can actually use the can opener. Health drink. Now, where is the can opener? There it is. A can with no label on it. Oh, real, real, uh, real descriptive the there. You won't believe what I just found in a can opener. I don't know, but to find out. I found, oh, uh, I found light bulbs. <laughs> there was a light bulb in the can. Oh, am I able? I actually, I actually found light bulbs in a can. I can't use that. Can I? Can I grab more of them? So, so we could def so basically yeah we can definitely make soup with light bulbs it will be an electrifying mm, meal light, mm, light bulb soup so tasty yeah this yeah the, it's so tasty that it will make your taste buds electrifying why the fuck are we in the bar now <laughs> what the shit wait what is that on the table 
Can I can I not interact with that? I guess not. That looks like something I can interact with though. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually in a bar right now. Why can't I grab that? It looks like something I can grab. Huh. That's confusing. Mm. Oh well. No 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 worry. No worries, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna use a light bulb. This kind of reminds me of the um the like bar we were in earlier in the game. There we go. There's a jukebox here. It doesn't play, so it must be broken. Would be nice if it does play. And how does this help me? How, how does putting the light bulb in help me, though? It won't. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, that's what the bar key's for. Okay. Oh, and we're here again. 